All right, so we've all been there. We've all seen it. We've all seen the mouse and keyboard input on some of our favorite streamer channels, and you wonder, how do they do that? How do they get it on there? It's actually simple, and it's actually free, and I'll show you how. So let's minimize myself right now and get right into it. Okay, so we have the finished product right below my uh, webcam here. Uh, that's the actual finished product if you want you can actually change this layout and design even more but this is what I like for my stream uh, so how did we get here well it's uh, let me show you we'll go into OBS on Google um, OBS forums we can type in no board v 1.3.0 um, you can just Google search no board and it'll pretty much just show up right there it's an OBS extension so you're gonna want to make sure that you have OBS installed now OBS is also free so this is all gonna be a free download for you even if you didn't have the webcam, you can still do this for free. Um, so we download no board from the go to download link. That's a GitHub link. It's perfectly fine. We'll download it and then we'll run it and install it from our 7-zip file that we download. After we install that, we're going to run the no board.exe file. And when we open it up, it's not going to look like this just yet. It's going to look like a green blank window. So how to even load this up? We're going to right click load keyboard and what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna click on the category I think it's set on burning fish I don't remember or even normal there's a couple different settings that you can do but if you want the regular what I have right here you're gonna want the J O A O 7 Y T category really weird name I can't decipher it I don't know what it is I think it's a white maybe a YouTube channel with the YT who knows but um, <laughs> So we have this set and we have our keyboard definition as FPS. These are basically all of, um, when it says clean black, that underscore clean white, your clean black is going to be what your keyboard and mouse buttons look when you're not pressing them. And then the clean white is going to be uh, when you do press them. So your buttons, are, your, your colors on the left are your buttons that when you don't press them. Colors on the right are the buttons when you do press them, in a sense. Um, at least that's what I can figure out. I don't know this program all together, but I've only really done this and as you can see it does even mouse tracking to where you can see the acceleration of my mouse speed from either direction. It can do scrolls, it can even do side buttons right here, click, click, all these types of buttons. Um, so it's a true mouse and, and keyboard tracker. How do we get it onto OBS Studio though? Now. Uh, for OBS Studio, you already have the display capture, I believe, already enabled. Um, you're, you'll see that down in the sources window. Um, but down in the sources window, we're going to want to press plus. That is going to add a capture window. Or any, I'm sorry, it's just going to add a um, little window right here. We're going to want to select a window capture because we're going to do a live window capture feed from no board we want to make sure that no board is still running as we're running obs it doesn't matter if you turn it on instantly or after or whatever we just have to make sure that while we're streaming while we're recording while obs is going on if we want that in the bot in the corner we got to make sure that no board is running okay so we're going to add a window capture and if you guys want you can rename it to mouse and keys just to keep yourself organized um and then what will show up is a green version of this mouse now we don't um like the green version unless if you want a green background that's totally up to you but if you want to do a little bit step up if you want to make it a little bit cleaner what you can do is you can do filters and then it will take you to this filter window what will happen is you can press the plus sign down here to add a chroma key filter and then that'll completely erase the green background and then keep those buttons sticking out so it's just a nice little filter that just makes the for some reason it makes those objects stick out i don't know <laughs> i don't know i think it's i think it's because this thing has been out for so long that they might have just accepted it um but that is in in stone how you would add the keyboard and mouse tracker onto obs studio so you can have a little bit cooler gameplay and you can kind of stand out from the crowd um with your mouse and keyboard tracking so Thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and watch adambombenny.twitchtv.com, whatever. Uh, subscribe, like, and share. Have a great day.